Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Crib and Ollie, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, a book that I think is probably midway between crime and horror, um, Blackburn by Bradley Denton. So this is a novel from 1993 that was nominated for the Stoker Awards that year. Um, it's one I remember coming out. I must have read a review of it in Fangoria or something like that because I was definitely aware of it but didn't read it at the time. Um, picked it up recently because I'm doing a series of reviews of Stoker nominated books for the website Leviathan Libraries. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a very interesting book. Um, so its premise is one that will um, probably be familiar to people um, in that it's about a, well, someone who is badged as a serial killer. I'm not sure he really is a serial killer, um, but who is sympathetic to the reader. Um, so it, it plays very much in, in the same ballpark as Dexter, uh, you know, the Dexter books and the Dexter TV show, um, albeit it came out long before the first Dexter book. Um so the hero, or protagonist, shall we say, of the book is a guy called Jimmy Blackburn, um, who is effectively a psychopath. Um, he has no um, compunctions at all about committing acts of terrible violence. Um, I don't think he's truly a serial killer, and some of the blurbs do describe him as a, as a serial killer. I don't, I don't think he's really a serial killer, because he doesn't kind of repetitively do the same thing, um, but he's definitely a psychopath, and he definitely kills multiple people throughout the course of the book. And basically, he kills people who piss him off. Um, and that's where the sympathetic part comes in, because a lot of the people um, that, he, that he kind of achieves personal justice on, shall we say, are, you know, like bullies or people who are cruel to animals or people who've deceived him in some way. So there's this, there's this you know, constant theme of him feeling quite justified in his actions. And to an extent, you as the reader get swept up in that. Um, and it's a, it's a very interesting and quite entertaining book. It's told kind of as, as almost like a series of interlinked short stories. So there is an overarching plot that runs through it. And really that's about uh, Jimmy Blackburn kind of growing up. So he, in, at the beginning of the book, he's a child um, and he, you know, he grows to manhood as the, as the stories progress. Um, but they, you know, there, there are... Um, effectively a series of, of short stories within here called things like Blackburn and the Chicken Killer um, or Blackburn Chooses Sterility um, and you know there's definitely a dark a darkly comic edge to it definitely in the um, Blackburn Chooses Sterility which is where he decides that um, you know the human human existence is um, is cursed and that he's going to get a vasectomy um, so and, and you know therefore visits a like a, a Planned Parenthood clinic and gets wrapped up in like these with these anti-abortion protesters and things like that. So there's definitely a bit of wry humour running through the book. Um, but it is also quite chilling in, in its depiction of what is effectively fairly casual, random violence. So a lot of the people who um, who like offend Jimmy Blackburn are people who, whilst they're definitely you know not nice people, they're not doing things that are terrible and the things they do to him are things that they have done many many times in the past often to other people um, so whilst to an extent you can sympathize with Blackburn feeling justified also when you look at it from their side they're just doing what they do and and he you know feels justified in killing them as a result so for example one of the stories is about a um, like a garage where they basically overcharge people. So they tell people that things are wrong with their cars that aren't and they, they fleece them. Um, and and Jimmy Blackburn gets a fairly horrible revenge on them when, when he discovers that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's an interesting examination of that kind of person, you know, the kind of person who feels like they are in the right and, you know, that they are entitled to, to take whatever action um they feel is is necessary to you know to, to get vengeance on people who've wronged them um there's a there is a in, in terms of that kind of comic tone there's a fantastic sequence early on in the book um where a an apparently blind preacher um visits the school where jimmy blackburn um is a student when he's a kid um and blackburn realizes what's going on 
and gets you know gets revenge on on this guy, and that that theme of um, that theme of kind of casual wrongdoing from the people that that Blackburn ends up going up against is repeated you know throughout the book. People who are just doing, as I say, things that they feel they feel like they're kind of justified in doing. So in in the case of the blind preacher. You know, he, he pretends to be blind in order to get a message over to the kids to try and, you know, bring them into the, the, the fold, if you like. Um, and he's not necessarily doing that with evil intent. Um, but Blackburn feels wronged by him and you get why he does. So it's very interesting in that balance of of different types of wrongdoing and, and who ultimately is right out for two people. And it doesn't it doesn't really come down on, on either side. But Bradley Denton's kind of moral tone is fairly um it's fairly balanced throughout the book. Um he shows you what Blackburn is doing, but he doesn't necessarily um, you know, he certainly doesn't feel like he sympathises with Blackburn as a character. One of the stories is is about a a novelist who is writing um, these these books about a, about a killer who is um, you know who the novelist considers to be justified in what he's doing, um, and that really uh, which you know which given what this book is about is quite entertaining, um, and he really gets Blackburn's goat. Um, so that was an, another quite entertaining story or, you know, tale within this, but within this larger work. Um, so, yeah, it's a it's a fun, interesting book. It definitely feels um, quite dated in that, you know, it, it came um, as part of that wave of books about serial killers in the 90s um, when, you know, post Science of the Labs, everyone was obsessed with them. Um, but it's an entertaining read and I can see. Um, I can see why it was nominated for, for the Stoker Awards. Um, it does often, or typically, or generally, feel more like a, a crime novel than a horror novel, I would say. Um, but it definitely has its horrific moments, and some of the, some of the death scenes are pretty horrible. Um, so yeah, it was, a, it was a, an interesting read, for sure. Okay, time for a random book from the shelves. Here, in fact, two books. So this is a, a double volume of Richard Lehman. So over here in the UK... Um, the publishers have started doing these Richard Lehman collections where you get two or even in some cases up to four Richard Lehman books in one book. Um, so this is this is rather fun. So this is Body Rides and Bite, both of which I read um, back in the day, back in the back in the 90s. Um, but yeah, looking forward to digging into them again at some point. This is one I picked up in the charity shop very cheap. So yeah, quite an interesting slice of uh, 90s crime horror today. Um, do let me know if you've read Blackburn and what you thought of it, if you have, um, or if you've read other books by Bradley Denton. I've read another one by him, um, I think back in the, that came out back in the late 80s or early 90s called Rack and Roll, which was kind of a sci-fi novel, which I don't remember too much about, um, other than the fact I did quite enjoy it. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've read him. Um, but as always, thanks very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well. Hope you're really good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.